Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to discuss contact automations. So uh, how you can perform automations based on a contact creation or a change in the state of a contact. So let's go to automation so I can uh, show you the use case. Also, let's create a new workflow from scratch. There we go. This is the new workflow. Let's name it contact creation plus change automation now here uh we can see a workflow trigger called contact created so you can design this workflow for the leads that are coming into the system so contact created means whenever there is a new contact created in the system you can uh, add a bunch of automations for that particular contact or those contacts you know send a message uh, add a tag or internal notifications and those kind of things also you can filter it uh by tag like if you are sending contact from zapier or having contacts created through a form in high level you can add a tag maybe you added a tag from a different automation and you want to just filter those contacts uh by that tag you know you can do something like that also if you come over here and uh say contact changed you know so if a contact state has been changed maybe assigned user so if i'm saying if there's a new contact that's been assigned to john doe who is a user in the system if the contact has been assigned to him maybe i can uh, send him uh, an internal notification you know so the user knows that, that there's a new contact for him or new prospect for him to follow up with so we can from here we can send an internal notification fill this up and then from to user type i'm saying assigned user and just here write a bunch of stuff you know and also maybe create a task for that user to follow up with that contact so uh that's that and also you can filter it by tags of course if a uh, contact uh changed so if a contact's tag has been changed to maybe added uh, to, let's say, new lead. So if a new contact tag has been added to a contact and the tag is new lead, you can perform a bunch of automations, maybe send them emails, send them SMS. If a contact tag has been removed, you can also like perform this automation, you know, add a bunch of automated steps. So that's that. And also you can perform automations based on a contact's DND status. So DND status is do not disturb. So has changed to enable DND for all channels. Maybe you can remove the contact because if a, uh, if DND has been enabled for a contact, we cannot contact with him with that lead or that prospect. So in that case, we can remove from the system or something like that. Maybe uh, also for disabled. So if the contact disable uh, DND has been disabled, you can then perform a bunch of automations. So these are the two uh, very powerful workflow triggers for uh, automations. I would say contact created and changed. Hope you guys understand it, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.